Hi, um, welcome to the latest video in the Irish Ancestors series. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about surname origins um, and specifically I'm going through the groups one by one, the various, um, everything except the, the default mode, which is the Gaels, Gaelic Irish. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about Palatines and Palatine surnames. So let's go to the site and I'll show you how you can do all this for yourself. Right, here we are at the site. Um, and I'm going to go into the browse section. Articles, again, this is all free, the browse section. Surname dark dot, data and, whoops, surname data and surname origins. And you can see here all the various um, groups I'm going to be talking about. Um, today, the Palatines. Okay, um, if you click on the, on the link, what you get is a list of all the surnames associated with Palatines in Ireland. Um, it's quite a, a, a rough and ready way of doing it. It simply searches the surname dictionary for any instance of the, the word Palatine, but it works. Um, and as well as the, the, the list of surnames with the surname dictionary definitions, you, also, you can also search um, the, the blog and see if I've written about Palatines anywhere and the old Irish roots column from the Irish Times. You can search that as well for any reference to Palatines. Um, the, the Palatines were uh, a very different group to many of the others who ended up in Ireland. Um, unlike, for example, the Huguenots, who were relatively prosperous, who had trades, who set up in business very easily um, in Ireland, or the Anglo-Irish, who carpet bagged their way in and did very well for themselves. Thank you very much. Or um, the, the, the Palatines were refugees in the, the root sense of the word. They were um, driven off their lands in the, the southwest of Germany, the Palatinate, just across the, the, the Rhine from, um, from Alsace, which is now in France. Um, and it was part of the wars between the Catholics and the Protestants, between Catholic France and Protestant Germany, Protestant German states as they were then. Um, and 13,000 of these people arrived in London in 1707 as refugees from this war. And they were poor, they were unhealthy, they were peasants, they weren't skilled, and they immediately caused a, a, an immigration crisis in London that became a, a political football on what to do with them, what to do with them, what to do with them. Most of them ended up um, heading off to America and um, to Pennsylvania in, in particular but also New York. And they sent um, quite a few, more than, than 5,000 to Ireland, 5,000 of these families to Ireland um, to set them up as good Protestant um, tenants. Um, again, this is part of the old sectarian um, shindig going on in Ireland. Um, about half of them couldn't take it. and They upped and went, and most of them went, went to America as well. But quite a lot stayed. And as you can see from the list here, there are quite a lot of them, um, quite a lot of surnames. Um, some of them, anybody in Ireland would be familiar with. Switzer, the name of the, the biggest department store in Dublin for many years. And here you can see there's Switzers. And you can see they're all, nearly all, in Limerick. And in Limerick, they're nearly all in the parish of Rathkeel. And what happened was that a large group of Palatine refu refugees settled in Rathkeel and made a life for themselves there and became quite successful and retained their way of life well into the 19th century and so on. So um, many Switzers, you can, so that was one of the two successful plantations as it were. Um, the other one was in, in Wexford um, around the, 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 there was a man called with, with the wonderful lusty name, Abel Ram, a landlord, and he um, imported lots and lots of uh, Palatine refugees. So um, let me see if I can find uh, uh, Palatines in Wexford here. Okay. Wexford, fairly rare, Wexford, Reinhardt. Okay, you can see you know, there's not that many of them. Let's have a look at the births and see how they... Uh, yeah, okay, you, again, you get much a much better... Um, and it's particularly that part that migrated from Gori down to Enniscorthy. But and you can see 
the original German spelling, Reinhardt, Reinhardt, and so on. Um, okay, so that they they are, if you have Palatine ancestors, those those surnames, well, they've been mangled in all sorts of ways in the records, but they're pretty pretty consistent and they're pretty um, distinctive. Um, if you go back to the surname origins homepage, you you'll also get more on the on on what I've just been talking about the the history of the the Palatines, and you'll also get links to I think two of the most important resources for anybody with Palatine ancestors. There's the the Irish Palatine Society website, um, which is based in Rathkeel, and has a, a a shop and has uh, lots and lots of information about the Palatines in Ireland. As you can see, its its function is preserving the history of the Irish Palatines for future generations. And the other is this um, man, Hank Jones. Let me just show you Hank Jones's website. Hank Jones, um, I, I couldn't quite believe the name when I saw it on the book first, because Hank Jones to me always was the default American surname. Everybody was called Hank Jones. And then they just um, added other names on. But Henry Z. Jones is the Palatine historian. He's made it his life's work. And he's done a, a, this is an excellent book. I have a copy, which I was lucky to get. It's now sold out. Um, it's by far the most uh, the authoritative work on the Palatines in Ireland. Um, if you can come and get it in a library, um, um, by, you know, if you have Palatine ancestors, this is the, the, the bee's knees. Okay, um, I hope I'll give you a flavour of, of some of the distinctiveness of these surnames and how you can explore them on the website and how you can find out more if you do happen to have Palatine ancestors in Ireland. The Palatines, the majority of Palatines, of Palatine refugees went to the US, to North America. A lot of them ended up in Canada as well, but, North, but quite a few in Ireland. And there are family connections. One of the things Hank does in his... his genealogies of the people is connect the people back to Germany, back to the original families in Germany. So some went to North America and some of the same families stayed in Ireland. So there, there, um, there are lots of strange byways and connections between um, between um, the Palatines and the Palatine surnames in Ireland and the Palatines elsewhere in the world. All right, thanks for watching um, and I'll see you again.